ethnicism. Ethnicism, tribalism is all the same thing. That's a major cancer that we suffer from. We've got to get rid of that. What's the alternative to that? Pan-Africanism. That's the alternative. But revolutionary Pan-Africanism. Because let me say this. There are a lot of people who call themselves Pan-Africanists and they're cultural nationalists and they're anti-racist. Like, you know, a lot of people, a lot of blacks here, anti-racist, anti-racist. Are you anti-capitalist? Are you anti-imperialist? Most of you are not. You're anti-racist. You're very clear about that. But you're not anti-capitalist. You're not anti-imperialist. So what you only want is change it, you know, from a, a white vessel and give me a black one and I'll be okay. That's all you're wanting, a change of skin color. You don't want to change the system that produces your oppression. Whether it's black, white, green, blue, or brown, it's about the system. And you must understand that. And don't be fooled when you see a black person holding up the system. He's even more dangerous than a white person. Because if I see a white person holding up an exploitative system against me, it's very easy for me. I'm able to know just why our colonial struggles were able to go so clearly. Because we could see the enemy and we knew that this is not your land. What are you doing here? You need to carry yourself back to Europe. But when they went and they got replaced by their black versions, we were confused. That is neocolonialism. And the black version continued the exact system that their white counterparts left behind. You must understand that. Because if you allow that to confuse you, we will not be free.